What is up? It's your boy, Johnny Shreve, AKA Mr. Tout Like It Is. Guys, I got five rear delt cable variations that you need to try out. Let me show you. Let's get into it. Guys, first up on my favorite rear delt cable variation is obviously the one you've seen me do before, which is basically going from low to high with the D handles. Now I have long D handles hey, and you can use a short D handle as well too. The only difference is you have to move the bench up a little closer. Reason why we use the D handles, number one is because we want to have that free range of motion so we can pull the arms apart to put pressure on the rear delts. This exercise allows you to load a little more. We want to make sure that the bench is, is back far enough so that when I start, there's already tension on the cable. I don't want this bottoming out, All right? So I want to make sure it stays here. So I'm up and I can fully protract that it's still not bottoming out. So adjust your bench accordingly. All right, so we're gonna walk this bad boy back like this, but over top, get over chest support, right strong from the ground. We're gonna let the cable pull us out fully protract. And then I wanna make sure that I keep my hands open up. I don't want them staying close and then pulling apart like a V. I wanna make sure that my hands stay apart. This is gonna put tension on my rear delts right away. I don't wanna go from here, then pull out. I wanna have my arms already pulling out and that's gonna put pressure already on my rear delts. And from here, we're pulling chest up, pulling wide and just to here. It's gonna come right here. We don't wanna pull up here, just to here. So we're aligned and then keeping the arms still spread apart and then pull. What we wanna make sure is that the hand, we keep that same angle when we pull up, right, as a cable. We don't want this coming like this way or being too far this way. So we're just pulling on the same angle, pulling up and making sure my hands stay apart. When I pull my hands apart, you can see my rear delt already active. So that's why we wanna keep the D handles pulled away while we're pulling up. That puts tension on my rear delts immediately. Stretch and pull. Stretch and pull. And you will feel your redoubts on fire the entire time. Remember, keep them apart. Keep your keep tension on the redoubts by having your hands pulled apart. Keep the same angle as the cable and pulling up. And then keeping that integrity of the elbows the same way all the way down. Keep your hands apart, not pulled in. Next exercise is gonna be a standing single arm rear delt fly. Now we wanna set this cable up so it's around shoulder height or even a little lower, which is completely fine. So if you go here and this is my shoulder height here, if I'm a little bit lower, right? That's a little too low for me. So I'm gonna have it a little bit higher just to here. Now for me, what I wanna do is I'm gonna grab here, right? If you wanna use the D handles and grab the D handles is completely fine too. But the reason why I like grabbing like this with a fist is because when I'm actually pulling and keep my arms straight, I'm referring this feeling from here, connecting to here, connecting to my rear delt here. So having that kind of like a blade in the back of my hand that's consistent with my elbow and my rear delt, I wanna keep my arm like this. Now, from here, I'm going to walk away a little bit. So I'm gonna, facing my arm, I'm gonna walk into it. This is gonna cause tension right away. So I have a nice stretch already. So I wanna just walk in the direction just to cause a little more stretch to start, right? And my shoulder is gonna stay down. My chest is gonna stay up. I put my arm on the cable. And then from here, I'm gonna pull out, all the way out, and then let it pull me back in wide, right? Stretch from here, pull out, and then pull them back in and stretch. Keeping the integrity of my chest up the entire time and not letting my shoulder come like this. Keep my chest up and pull. Bring it back, stretch and pull. That is burning in all the right places. I'll do it from the opposite side so you guys can see it from the back. Hey, yep. Again, I'm gonna grab these handles from here. I'm, gonna, I'm basically looking at it, I'm parallel. And then I'm gonna turn into my arm to stretch it 
Put my here hand on the back from here. Keep my chest up. There's tension already there. And then I'm pulling all the way out. Keep my shoulder down and letting it pull me along, meaning my arm's gonna pull away from my body, away from my body, away from my body. And I'm pulling in. Nice stretch and out. Big stretch, keep your chest up and out. Avoid this happening. I wanna keep it down and pull. Next one on the list, we're doing a bent over rear delt fly with a cable, obviously. We're gonna lower this guy all the way down to the bottom. Now, we're gonna hinge, and I wanna hinge low enough because we wanna, we don't want our lower back and our glutes and hamstrings to be a limiting factor. So we're gonna hinge back all the way until we can basically sit like this, right? My hips or my stomach is gonna sit on the top of my thighs from here. That way I have a little more leverage and stability, apart from kind of being like this and back, and then I really gotta you know, pay attention to my lower back and my core. We're still gonna do that, but I'm gonna sit down a little more in that position like this. So I should be able to start like this, which is completely fine. Now from here, I can put my hand here or here. I'm gonna grab this handle from here. Now, right now there's, there's not tension. I want there to be tension. So I'm gonna walk out a bit. So there's already tension pulling my arm in. I put my hand here, sitting down, right? And you can see how right now my hand's up. I wanna push my arm down, right? I wanna push it down and pull from here. Right? So I don't want to be up. I want to push my fist down to the floor, keep my core engaged, and then we're going to pull out. And then back and letting it pull me all the way in to stretch. You can even cheat a bit to that one side, stretch and pull. And stretch and pull. And we're pulling right out to the side and slightly, slightly back. Right? We're not like this, but we're also not out here. So here from the bottom, I'm pulling out, and all the way in, stretching that out, and out, and stretch, and stretch. Okay, so this exercise I've been using a lot with my client, Carolyn, and it's been absolutely awesome. I love doing it myself. What we wanna do is, if you have two tower cable system in your gym, you can do everybody a favor doing this exercise because you're gonna wanna do it after you do. I wanna make sure we put the cables high enough because we're pulling high to low. We're gonna have the bench on a, a pretty high angle, so around like 60 is five, 65 ish degrees, if anything. We're gonna lay over top, nice and tall. We're gonna let the cables pull us all the way up and we're gonna have our hands on opposite sides. We're again, we're grabbing the, the ball on the end of this rope. So we're grabbing these guys here. Now you can use the D handles if you want to again, I like using this because I have a better connection with my rear delts pulling this way as opposed to having it like this and pulling this way. Nice and tall from here. And then we're gonna pull, stretching it out and pulling down and back, peak contraction and out and pull. Out, stretch and pull. Out, stretch, pull. All right, so fists with each other here in front. A little bit of tension already. And we're pulling up and pulling wide. Let it pull us back. All the way out and pull. All the way out and pull. Stretch and pull. And you will feel your redults on fire this entire time. Now, why am I doing it? Chest support, it takes up momentum. So instead of having the cables here and then hanking them back like this, being on a bench chest support takes away that momentum and forces us to just use our delts. Remember, we want it to pull wide and long. So we're here, we're always pointing far away. I don't want to pull myself back. I want to shorten things and pull it here. I want my scaffs to be open until I reach the back and then my scaffs will close. Open and then pull them on an angle down to the side and close. That's all we're doing here, here, and here. 
forward and back. Last but not least, guys, seated rear delt flies with the cables. Grab one arm, walk over to the other side, twist, grab this side, walk to the middle. Now we're gonna sit up a bit and cheat. So we're at the edge of the bench. We're gonna sit at the edge of the bench. And from here, up and pull. And we wanna pull wide. Don't pull wide and come up because I hit the back of your legs. I wanna keep my body I'm from the ground, I'm taking my feet, I'm pushing my hips back, keep my core nice and tight from here, round it from here, and then I'm just pulling out, letting it stretch and pull. Stretch and pull. And you keep constant tension on this entire time. Now, if you're too short and it keeps hitting in the back of the leg, easy thing to do is basically, you can put something on your butt, maybe like a block, to raise your butt up a bit, or you can put a riser in front of your feet to raise your feet up a little bit. And I'll kind of keep the clearance a little more if you have problems with the clearance. And that's it. So those are my five rear delt cable variations that you guys need to try out. So next time you know what it is, Iron Sharp is Iron. Progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep Jim chasing. Peace.